Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Jordwell. Following the recent event that happened to Syndigo, and by this I mean the passing of Daniel, I wanted to do a vlog about suicide. First, I'm going to begin with the people that have this idea of killing themselves right now. Um, I spoke with very a bunch of people about that, and the same thing keeps popping up every time find someone find somebody you can trust and go speak to him i know right now what you what you're thinking you may be thinking right now uh, what good would it be just do it just take my word for it and please do it it might sound silly for the time but you, you need to at this point, you need to get out of your way to find hope again. Because a, a man once said to me, and this man, this man tried to kill himself. He, he he tried to commit suicide, and he gladly he didn't kill himself in in the long run. But what he said was, suicide is not an act of cowardice, nor it's an act of courage it's suicide it's when you don't see hope it's when you can't even define in your own words what is hope it's when this concept is inexistent to yourself and i'm so happy for myself i was ab i was able to walk through all of this Yes, I have scars here and there. And I, I don't want to speak about my experience. Not because I, I have shame for it, but I, want, I don't want to glorify uh, these actions. What I want to say here, it's, it's the other way around. It's what it's like when you're on the other side. When it's like when you don't have this idea of killing yourself and please do believe me on this because i know i know what is, this question is in your mind right now i know what it is this question is is all of this worth it is life worth it it is it simply is is if you don't even overthink life, it's beautiful in itself. And when you when you stop, when you try to overthink about it, it's it only gets even more wonderful. I was speaking with uh, Wiz Destroyer, and speaking also with Sushi Meep, and like I asked them this simple question, this very simple question: Is life worth it? They didn't even wait a single second to answer back. And what they answered blew my own mind, really. <laughs> Tears are coming up in my eyes just thinking about it. And they just went for... <laughs> Wiz Destroyer just said, of course it is. And Sushimi followed by, yes, yes it is. And the... The more I heard about their stories, the more I could see that they went through so much, but they live now for so much more. And I urge you people, if you, if you can't see hope in your life, go out of your way to find it. I know it, it's harder than it sounds. I know it's not easy because you're at the steps where you, you don't see hope. But go out of your way. Find somebody you can trust and begin with that. Yes, of course, you have. it's humiliating to, to speak to somebody and say, even if you trust them, to tell them like, I have this idea of killing myself. Would you help me with that? I know how embarrassing it is, but please do that friend or family member or whatever this person 
will stick with you, will gonna try to help you. And in my case, maybe it's gonna like, kinda uh, bash you emotionally. Like my friend Nick, I owe him everything, but he was that kind of friend that when I would speak about those things, he would get this truth and he know how to get me but this is what you need call our truth that you're gonna be able to find hope again and to the other people that have friends who have like these dark ideas that you can't see that but you don't know what to do well go talk to them really go talk to them don't don't waste time go ahead do it. I have nothing else to say than just do it. Just go ahead and speak to them. Or just smile to them because maybe this is all that what they need. You never know. The smallest of action can have the biggest of repercussions. And lastly, um, I want to I want to address um, Ryan from Syndigo and uh, Markiplier. I can't even start to begin what you guys are going through. I can't even try to, to put myself in your own shoes. Because in my surroundings, I was the one who was going, wanting to end his life. And I... I can't even start to think what you must live through. Though, what, what can I be sure of? I don't think he forgot you when he did that. I don't. I don't. Don't feel remorse or anything or like that. Don't. Don't blame yourself. I don't think it's your fault if you did that. I refuse to think that. Of course, I can't really speak for about that because. It's on the personal level, but I'm sure that thing would have been way different if you two weren't in his life. And yes, it's it's hard because it just came to a shock to you guys, but. I'm sure that to, um, to the very end, he treasured both of your friendship very deeply. And I know it must be really hard for Ryan since Daniel was his partner in crime. He was like, they were Syndigo. I mean, but don't blame yourselves, guys. Instead, remember the good times that you had with him. Orion, Mark. <laughs> so, Ryan, Mark, you have my thoughts and prayers. I'm speechless toward that because. Nothing else can be said, but be happy that you had this friendship. And Mr. Jarwell, farewell, good people. <laughs>